Hello and welcome back to more Graveyard Keeper. We are picking up where we left off and it is Inquisition Day. We have the beers. We have the burgers. It's time to go and have ourselves a buffet. So we will make our way across. I've actually got to find where I put the beers because I don't actually remember. I think they were left upstairs. So we're just going to dump some bees down here. Nothing else really needs to be. I'm going to put the sin shards because I just want the space right now. We're going to pop up and put in some honey. I'm going to keep 30 honey. And I'm going to put the dough in as well. And I'm going to get those beers. So we got 10 of each, which I'm pretty sure is all I need. Now, I'm just going to take a moment to pop on up there just in case I do need anything else I'd absolutely hate to need something and then not have it and then have to loop back and miss out um, the other thing is is this is all ready too probably don't have the time to start it but I will request that the zombie starts making some grapes for us we should start be cl close to hitting hops as well so Let's get to this, though. Have we beaten the Inquisitor here? We have beaten the Inquisitor here, so we can... Serve the burgers and serve the beer. We can only do it once... ...a uh, thing. Okay. So I suppose we're going to be waiting here now. We can chop down some trees, though, and make, make the place look a little bit nicer, I guess. There's, there's nothing I can do with all of the logs, though, so they'll just have to sit over here for a while. There we go. And since we always need sticks, we're just hiding up around here, making the place look a little neater so people can come for beers and... beers and burgers and burnings. Um, look at the tent. Good, the people are going to love this. And you'll probably earn a lot of money. Yes, Monsignor. You know, at first thought, you were kind of shady. Like you might be a problem. I had this strange feeling that you didn't belong here. But now it seems like you've blended in just fine. You do what you've been asked to do. And profit means everything to you. I believe there's a place for a person like you in our future world. In the world we're going to build in the town. The world of pure faith. Ha! One day. One day. The audience is gathering. Do your part well, and I will do mine. Okay. <clears throat> what do we want to do? I can prove I'm loyal. I'm sure I can show you that I can be trusted well enough to look after Witch Hill. Indeed, perhaps one day I'll embrace you as an Inquisitor apprentice. Meanwhile, I'll await your reports. About the ceremony at my cathedral. Monsignor, can I ask you for a favour? I'm listening. Could you attend my bi a big ceremony at my new cathedral? Together with Bishop, we'll pray for the water to return to the town. Meh. I have no time for such nonsense, but we need someone important to attend. Try to find someone from the royal court. Everything is ready for the next burning. There we go, they're gonna have their be Bees! Fresh bees! Bee washes away all sins. Juicy burgers, sweet as holy ecstasy. I'll take two. The best burning I've ever been to. Mmm, that's tasty. Smoky meat. <laughs> the town will be talking for a month about today's burning. 
Whenever you're ready, we should put on a repeat response. Just get your tent ready and we'll be in business. You earn 33 silvers selling beer and burgers. And we actually earned some faith too. Four faith. That's pretty good. So we need someone from the royal court. It appears we have two of those. Salty Fork, Mirror of Pride. Yeah, there's, there's a lot there that I have no clue what to do with. But with that done, we even got a gold story. That is pretty awesome. Now, the good thing is we also have all of the... All of the grapes here are gold star, or should be. Because we didn't actually deal with anything else. So, we should be able to pick up quite a lot of it. Though, that said, we'll probably overload on the amount of grapes we can hold on to shortly. Um, so, we're going to put in the seeds. So, the seeds there have... What, we're up to 129 now. Now we deal with the hops. We have 10 golden hop seeds. Which I think should be enough. Like, in, in all honesty, I, I don't think we need to continue growing um, silver hops, to be totally honest. Let's just quickly deposit all seeds so we have a much easier list to pull from. Yeah, golden hops. Golden hops. Um, golden grapes. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about any other type of grape. And we are just going to now make golden grapes. Because there's no point to any of the others. Um, oh, there's also 17 grapes there. So I'm going to put the seeds in. And the crop waste. And I'm going to pick up those grapes. Those grapes. These ones are on the way. Okay, good. So the benefit of golden... Uh, of zombie plantations, or zombie vineyards, I should say, is that we don't have to worry about the... Honestly, we don't have to worry about the uh, fertilizer or dealing with any of that. Uh, we're going to take 50. And we've got another body to take care of, but that can wait because we're going to have to drop off all of these resources. But let's go home. And we're going to put the hops in first. I realized that I probably should have not. <laughs> um, we're also going to dump, jump up here, not dump up, and put away some of those things. The grapes can, can live down here. Not the burgers. We'll hold on to the burgers. We've got another whole whole thing we can do with the burgers, basically, at this point. But we can make our way down. I'm just going to go past them for a moment and pick up the, the burning stuff. There we go. Good, good chunk of ash and salt. Alright, we're going to put this body through the soul remover and we can heal this soul there we go so we should should heal it almost all the way i think it will be all the way i'm not entirely sure seven healed sin shards and yeah it's a hundred percent healed soul There we go, and we got the ash, the salt, and the burial certificate. So let's take this body out. And, oh, I keep dropping it before the autopsy. Right, so we're going to take the blood. 
the blood, the fat, the heart. But we might, I might actually, I'm going to have one of these burgers. So I have the steady hands and we're going to take the heart. Yeah, that was no good. So we're going to put the heart back in. And we're going to take the uh, intestines. So it's got three red currently. Yep, the intestines are definitely good to be in there. Uh, let's try taking the brain then. Hey, no, that actually worked. Okay. So we now have a six... <laughs> Yeah, we now have a six-star body that we can bury. Score. And, I mean, we can always just slowly pump up the, the value of the, the graveyard, but I think we're going to start putting some down here. At least for now. So we're going to put a lovely rip gravestone in and a nice lovely grave fence in. There we go. Nothing but the best for our front row. Don't really know why I did that to that one. You know, it wasn't really a, an urgent thing. I just felt that we could do that with that one. What's left on this body? So, a Sin Shard. Okay. Um, this one has everything. So, we're going to take the Heart, the Fat, and the Skin, I guess? Like, I don't even know if I need the... Uh... I don't even know if we need that. Eh, we can take the fat. I mean, worst case, when we're running low on wax or something, we can make candles. So, this body will now go into the crematorium here. There we go. Take the body. Okay, you have skin as well. I don't know what I've been doing with these bodies. Oh, I think I've just been taking the meat from them and leaving them at that. <laughs> I've had priorities. I've just been like, yep, rip out the meat. And that's it. Um, don't need anything else. I don't know why I have both. Like, the time it takes to burn one... You've already done the other. But hey, that's the one that I don't know what to do with. Part of me is tempted to just make some organs really good and just jam it in. Like, if I take out... Like, I've got brains. I think we can see them currently if we go into here. So if I remove these brains... But then I go, these brains, they've got two red. So those brains are no good because I don't think I can actually remove the red from brains. I can only, um, yeah, I can only increase the good, not the, not reduce the bad. I assume that comes when you can use the alchemy solutions. You add a red and then you remove it and basically play the hokey pokey. But I'm thinking with all of that, it's probably worth turning this one into a zombie. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's seven. I could have just read that. Or we do something very, very scary. Let's take out its intestines. Let's have a burger and take out its intestines. Okay, the intestines had a bad one in them, which is very interesting to learn. 
And I also realize now we left the stuff up in the above one. So we're going to do a quick little... We're going to be just super lazy. Because we can actually just go up here, come down here, and grab the sin shards. There we go. Now we only have to do one trip around. We also need to duck out and pick up some more wax from the... Uh, uh, the beekeeper as well. So we're just going to also melt that heart. Right again. So let's do this quickly. Yep, chest, craft. What? Where did they go? Oh my gosh, I just deleted them. That's weird. Do I have any spare? I don't. I'm sorry. Oh jeez. Got another one in. Um, I'm gonna take your intestines out. Uh, your intestines were all good, so I can actually make them even better. And then put them into this one. You know what they say. Man who enters a bodybuilding competition like this certainly got the uh, got the description wrong. Right. We've got good good intestines that we can now put in the other body, I guess. This one is also meant for the burning pile. So we'll take the skin and the heart. The reason I just take the hearts is just because I can uh, get that life essence. I don't. I'll take. I'll take the. Uh, I whoever gave the the idea of using the frid refrigerated. Um, chest to just create like whole piles of bodies to use later. Thank you very much. I <laughs> super appreciate. Okay. So we can now put the intestines in. There we go. Nine star body. So we can plonk that in. And we'll probably turn him into a zombie at one, some point, but I'm having fun with that body. Anyways, that is where we're going to wrap things up today, as it is the end of this day. We'll have to get some, some wax tomorrow, and then we've got another sermon ahead of us. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please do leave a like down below. And if you want to see more, please do subscribe. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And a big thank you to my Patreon and Twitch supporters, without whom I wouldn't be able to do this. Take care, look after yourselves, and until next time, bye for now.